Hey guys, what's up, Cancer? Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Today we are going to do a reading for your immediate future from wherever you find yourself watching this. Um, the situation you'll be in, uh, any obstacles that may be in your way, and the outcome. Keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. So this could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with or that's on your mind. <clears throat> also, keep in mind this is a general reading. So it may not resonate for everybody. But if so, damn. Um, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Alright, Cancer, let's get it. So I did see the Ten of Swords. <clears throat> oh, they're not ready. Um, which tells you something possibly ended. There could have been some lying, backstabbing, or just, you know, some type of ending. But we do have the magician that popped out here. So maybe that's about to change for you, hopefully. All right, Cancer. All right, let's try this again. There we go. All right. Damn. All right. Something makes you happy. Cancer. Immediate future for cancer. You don't want to talk. All right. Yeah, there's definitely something or someone that makes you happy. Um, could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn with the Page of Pentacles. Um, doesn't have to be. Let me get these cards and then we'll talk. Mm -hmm. Alright, maybe y'all don't want to talk. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, yeah, damn, you have good cards. So, for the um, the situation, we have the Page of Pentacles. Like I said, that's Earth energy. <clears throat> for some of you guys, this could be a job offer because we have the Three of Pentacles. So, this is someone, you know, um, putting in work towards something, possibly collaborating. But, um, could be with the Pisces. But something is moving forward. Um, and I don't, I feel like with this moon, you're not seeing it right now. You kind of might be piecing out. This is some healing going on. Um, could be with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the King of Pentacles there, but the two of wands. So somebody is wanting to move forward. There's definitely some healing here at the bottom of the deck. Like somebody just not interested. Um, we have the Seven of Swords, so it could have been some type of deception or just something that you don't trust, but this is an offer coming. For some of you guys, this definitely could be a job offer <clears throat> that makes you really happy. And for others of you, this could be a message from a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, like trying to offer something stable. The Two of Cups, two people coming together, you know, trying to see eye to eye and start moving towards that. All right. Show me this Nine of Cups. This is wish fulfillment here. This is something that makes you very happy. We have more Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Um, there could have been like some petty arguing and somebody is, you know, just some back and forth and somebody's wanting to come back and apologize. Could be a Capricorn, could have been a third energy or a Gemini. Um, but this person, you know, could have just been like an ex, something that you're healing from right here. Keeps popping out so many cards. But there's disappointment. There's sadness around this. Because the Five of Cups is here. But <clears throat> we're just going to have to take them. Because they all keep wanting to pop out. So there is some sadness. You know, because somebody is healing. Maybe coming off a little close off. But I just don't. I think you're not seeing this right now. Or it could be with the Pisces. Um, but... There's communication for sure. There's an offer coming. We have the Knight of Cups. So this person could be um, younger than you. But this is someone coming forward with a love offer. This is like their emotional fulfillment. You have emotional and wish fulfillment here. So I feel like you're happier. This is gonna. This communication is going to make you very happy. Somebody is trying to bring some type of balance here. 
So even if this is a job um, offer, there's a lot of balance. There's a lot of cash flow with it. And it's going to make you really happy. So you might have kind of been worried or disappointed how that was going. Um, but with the Knight of Cups and Ten of Cups and Nine of Cups, Two of Cups, it definitely could be, you know, messages coming in. Somebody's wanting to move forward and start building together. Yeah, so, okay. We have the sun, the happiest card in the deck. There's celebration. There's a, a reunion, you guys, hanging out. Um, celebrating. And you're really happy here. I feel like this communication is coming. It could be with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But it's very clear communication. We have more Taurus energy here with the, um, with the Empress. So there is, you know, there's a lot of stability. This is going to clear some things up. This is more messages um, with the Page of Wands. This communication, there's nothing negative about it. This is going to make you very happy. Um, I feel like this is going to like uh, bring a lot of clarity to some things. Because this person is trying to heal some things between you guys. Like They're not happy with how things are. They definitely want to change that. Yeah, Six of Cups, um, Soulmate, Twin Flame, but somebody you've dealt with coming back. Could have been an ex, could have been some arguments, lies, something toxic. Um, but you have the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Wands. This is victory. This is destiny. This is things moving. So overall, I mean, your whole, your whole thing looks good. I think, you know, this might kind of catch you off guard in the best of ways. There's definitely good news coming for you. Somebody sees you as like damn near their everything or if you see somebody that way, it's, it's, it's kind of like it's mutual here. Like you just make each other really happy. This person, you know, with the king of swords here definitely comes off. Um, this is a confident person. He can be well educated. Um, this empress, empress, blah, 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 sorry. She is, you know, she's about fertility. She's, you know, a mother, a provider, a nurturer. She's just all around loving. She's all the queens in one. So, you know, this is a good drive behind this. This is going to make you happy. The world card did pop out. So, new cycles beginning letting go of the old so if you guys are stressing there um with that nine of swords don't this could be somebody stressing you though because there is some sadness but um this is gonna make both sides very happy could be dealing with an aquarius but yeah somebody is manifesting this this could be something long term this could be um with a Libra or an Aquarius here, but it's more wish fulfillment. This is being created and you have everything you need to make it happen. That's this balance coming out. The scales kind of leveling. So go cancer. Damn. Ten of Pentacles. Couldn't ask for more. Complete abundance, commitment, happiness, home, money. So in all ways, in all aspects, like, you're looking really good here. All right, Cancer, that's what I have for you guys. Hope it helped. Hope it resonated. If so, please like and subscribe below. You guys take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.